In this video I'll show you how to connect this PWM uh, servo controller just from using the datasheet. So to, how to write a driver for this uh, for this board just from the information from the datasheet. At first I ask I2C detect and I found at address 40 and at address 70 a uh, I2C gadget. Now this is the datasheet and I wrote out um, the register addresses that are important for me. That looks like this. So with address 0 and 1 I can set the mode. With address 6, 7, 8, 9 I can set the duty cycles of LED 0. So uh, the on cycle with 16 bit on 6 and 7 and the off cycle on 8 and 9 and LED 1 and 2 and so on are in 4 byte distance also settable and I have this F at address FE I have the prescale value now I'm going to search the datasheet for prescale and let's look take a look at the documentation about the prescale and find out how we have to uh, which value we have to set in order to get a frequency that we want okay I found out the following when I want to set the target frequency to a value I have to first set uh, the mode to sleep mode then I have to set a value. In this case, I calculate a 50 hertz, which is uh, 79 in hex, and then I go back to normal operation mode. For the LED, I have to set the on cycle to 204 for a minimum uh, duty cycle of one millisecond and to a maximum of 409. This results from my 50 hertz divided uh, into uh, 4096 single steps and the one millisecond is this and when I have want to set a value between minus one and uh, one I have to use this formula to get the actual 16 bit value and for the off duty cycle I just use the maximum value which is 20 milliseconds this is why I chose 50 Hertz I finally got it running with PWM controller and I had to uh, make some adjustments to my original ideas and I'll show you it now this is the driver I wrote it has a init sequence which sets it to sleep mode then sets 50 Hertz and then what changed is um, I set this mode, this 2 sets increment mode, so I can write full 16 bit uh, values, and the 1 sets the all mode, so I, I can to write some to some specialized registers and set all values at once. And then I had also to switch the on and off because uh, the information is in the down impulse and not in the on impulse um, yeah I add, I wrote a function set in bash which takes an ID and a value the ID is from 0 to 15 which enumerates the LED uh, the, the PV, PWM like you see this 4 times dollar one is the address of the register of the current PWM and then we have the value which writes to a byte on H, so on the off uh, length, the, the, off duty, the length of the off duty cycle. And this at offset 6, we write the 4095, which is our on duty cycle, so the 20 milliseconds. And now I have a simple script that writes, that sets PVI. Uh, 0 and 1 to the leftmost position, the middle position and the rightmost position 
and then goes back to the middle position so that I can center the the servo horns and now let's go back to our script and it runs just fine um, some details about the wiring um, these things are a bit loose so uh, I don't always get the perfect signal like this time the second servo is fallen out and now I push it a bit, little bit further and now it works again and this is connected via I2C like you see here SCL and SDA which refers to these SCL and SDA ports on the Raspberry Pi header and I added a supply voltage to the controller um, just to not having the problem draining too much energy from my Pi but I think it would also work if you just Instead of uh, connecting power to this one, you can also add here a 5 volt power supply from your Raspberry Pi. This also works.